first and foremost, um, I can't imagine what you're going through knowing that you had the invitation to be on this mission, on this sub, and you turned it down. Why are you not on the sub? Yeah, well, actually, I mean, I'm not going through anything, nothing compared to the people that are currently stuck on the sub, assuming they're still alive. I think it's absolutely terrible. And just for clarity, I was invited to join Ocean Gate on a Titanic research trip this year if there were space available. And, uh, you know, I think this is the only trip that was going this year, so I wasn't able to join due to the timing. But um, it's uh, it's really very, very tragic, and I certainly don't want to make this about me. I think it's uh, much more sad for the people that are potentially stuck at the bottom of the ocean currently. Talk to me about the fauna at this depth and the possibility that this could be actual wildlife sea creatures that may have interfered. What kind and how can they possibly survive at that depth and that pressure? Sure. Well, I do think that the potential for it to be sea life is pretty slim, but there is certainly a possibility of it. You know, at that depth, wow, it's known, we're known to have giant squid, sperm whales will go down that deep, and there are actually quite a large number of unknown species still at that depth because so much limited research uh, has gone into, you know, exploring those depths. And so we're still learning about all the creatures that are down there. I think the likelihood of it being a sperm whale is incredibly slim because they're quite frankly, very docile animals for the most part. However, squid, especially when they see bright lights and uh, you know flashing things, they indeed could uh, show more aggression. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.